Hello! This video tutorial will take a look at some of the features of Calendar as part of the Office 365 platform. To access the Calendar features from my Office 365 webmail, I'm going to click on the keypad icon, which for me is the top left-hand side of my screen. Once you click on this icon, different tiles will appear. We're going to click on Calendar feature. In Calendar, you have several options. The first option is to search for an event or a meeting. Type in your keyword and hit return and a list of all the scheduled events that begin with that word will show up. And you can also make some um, adjustments here on the screen. The calendar is set to view right now uh, at month by month to change from month to month you just click on the arrows you can also on the right hand side decide what kind of view you would like to see your calendar be it a one day view the work week the week or the month or even just one day to enter an item on the calendar double click on the day and you will have the option to schedule an event. You can title your event, add a location if you use a different school or a place uh, somewhere else. You can change the time or make it an all-day event. Um, and then you can ask to have a reminder. It will be a pop-up reminder. Um, you could be shown as busy or away from your desk uh, while this meeting is occurring. You can also click here to give yourself an email reminder and then you can type any kind of notes you might have as well. Um, you can elect to make this a Skype meeting. Uh, you can give it a charm to personalize the event and you can also place it in a certain category that you can create and manage here from this item. When you, uh, you may also invite people to your meeting by clicking in this box and um, adding the people, they will receive a message to join your meeting. And then I can save, discard, or add an attachment. And my new event will show up on my calendar. If you want to add additional calendars to your Outlook calendar, you can do that by clicking. If you want to overlay US holidays or birthdays or create new calendars, you can do so. To remove the calendar overlay, just click again uh, to remove the dates here. You can also add calendars from other places. You can put on a secondary calendar, search one from the internet, or search one from the directory. And of course here you can schedule under new a calendar event, an email message, or a birthday event to help you organize. You can share your calendar with others by clicking share and then type in the the email address of that person hit send and they'll receive your calendar and you can also print your calendar this might be suitable for um, to help you keep track or help to keep students keep a track of certain events well, these are the main features of the calendar thank you very much have a great day